Now, close to 100 people gathered tonight to remember a man who meant so much to many people. A touching tribute tonight for Jose Mendoza. He was shot to death early this morning while fishing at the Causeway Pier near the JFK Causeway. Family, friends, loved ones gathered tonight to remember Mendoza. It was at the place where Mendoza loved to fish, the place where he lost his life. He was remembered tonight as a kind and giving man, someone who devoted his life to his sons, to his family, and helped many charities. Some folks lit candles. Some brought fishing poles. Earlier today, we talked with Mendoza's family. Take a listen to this. 37-year-old Jose Mendoza, a local rapper and fisherman, is being remembered tonight. My brother did a lot for the community. Through his music, he touched a lot of people's hearts. Tragedy struck early this morning here at the Causeway Fishing Pier. Mendoza had just finished fishing with friends. He was shot several times. Officers tried CPR, but it was too late. Mendoza did not survive. He leaves behind a wife and two children. One of his sons, a 10-year-old, had autism. They are seen together in this video he made. Yo, daddy's right here, and I ain't going nowhere. He spent the last several years of his life trying to help the battle against autism. Did a lot of benefits, did a lot of walks for autism, did concerts for him, did a video actually for autism. Mendoza loved fishing. He spent many, many days fishing in the waters of South Texas. He also loved rap music, making his own DVDs and music videos. He had a talent for music, but his first love was at home. It was the most perfect father in my eyes that I could see. Fernando Ortiz is one of Mendoza's close friends and was with him just minutes before he was shot. He had left to go home. Mendoza wanted to continue fishing. Just a few minutes later, he got a phone call that Mendoza had been shot to death. I couldn't believe it. I mean, it, it was just something that I would have never would have imagined. Cut short, but not forgotten. Well, about two hours after the shooting, police say a 29-year-old uh, man showed up at police headquarters and told them he had been involved in this shooting. His name isn't being released, at least as of tonight. Charges are pending.